Welcome to What's New with AWS. I'm Jeff Barr, and I've got three exciting launches to share with you today. Let's start with an important update to Amazon LightSail. So this service, which I first blogged about in 2016, makes it easy for you to launch a virtual machine that is pre-configured with SSD-based storage, DNS management, monitoring, and a static IP address. You also have options for load balancing, relational databases, and a content delivery network. At launch time, you can choose an operating system, an application, or a stack of development tools and libraries. We call all of these blueprints, since they specify the operating system and the other software that's pre-installed. With LightSail, you get all of this, including a generous amount of data transfer for a fixed monthly price. So today's news, four additional operating system blueprints, Amazon Linux 2, Ubuntu 20, Windows Server 2019, and Debian 10. To learn more about this, read the what's new. So next, let's talk about AWS X-Ray. Turns out I also started to write about this service in 2016. As a quick reminder, AWS X-Ray lets you see inside of your distributed applications. You can trace requests from beginning to end to give you a better understanding of both performance and behavior at scale. Today, I've got two updates to share with you. First, there's a new auto instrumentation agent for your Java code. It lets you collect trace data for X-Ray without making any code changes. It's a simple drop-in, and it works with just about any Java application, including those built with Spring Boot or a servlets. Next, we launched a preview of X-Ray Insights. This new feature uses machine learning and anomaly detection to look for issues, and it then surfaces them as insights you can examine and remedy. An incident is created when the detected fault rate exceeds expectations, and even includes a map to help you pinpoint the root cause. You can read the blog post to learn more about this cool new feature. And finally, another book recommendation for you. My colleague Julian Simon wrote Learn Amazon SageMaker to help you get started with machine learning. I've not yet had time to read this book, but I've read plenty of Julian's blog posts and I can recommend his work without hesitation. This book has 13 chapters grouped into three sections spanning 466 pages. Julian starts with the basics. He covers data preparation, model building, training, computer vision, natural language processing, scaling, deployment, cost management, and lots more. There's plenty of code, tons of hands-on examples. I think you're gonna learn a lot by reading it. That's what we've got today. Thanks so much for watching. As always, we look forward to your feedback. Send us an email, a tweet, leave a comment below. If you'd like to see some more videos just like this, subscribe to our channel, click the bell for notifications, and we shall see you again soon.